Hey everybody, it's Fossey, and this is Atlas, my puppy. I have the works mower here today. This is the 19 inch pace setter. I gotta get out of the shot. Go. Get out of my shot. Please, please leave. <laughs> Wait, wait. Please. This mower is self propelled. The main feature of this mower is the battery powered motors and the battery bank included in the unit. Okay, so the setup is fairly simple. What I just did was raise the handle from the lowered position. That's also very convenient whenever you're leaving this in the garage. It takes up only a small footprint as you saw earlier. So that's very simple. You just throw the bar back and tighten this up until it uh, holds the two bars snug. That way it's a little more stable. You'll get just a small amount of play out of this. This is the adjustment for the height. So if you're taller or shorter, you just prefer that, that angle whenever you're using the mower. So the first thing I'm gonna do after unpacking is Show you the battery. So they have the little plastic cover on the battery for the contacts. You can imagine that's a corrosion prevention measure. Okay. So what you have here on the side is an indicator. This tells you that the battery is charged. This is low, medium, and high. That's full charge. And here is where you'll plug in your charger. This you would leave in the garage. You don't have to, like with older lawnmowers, <clears throat> you would have to take an extension cord and stretch that across the yard and walk around with that. That's the beauty of this is the battery. This weighs 29 pounds. It's 36 volts and 11 amp hour rating. You don't have to take it out of the container every single time you want to charge it. That's the nice part. You just set it in. And what, what you'll see here is an orange plug. That's for when you want to operate it. And when you're just going to have it in the garage, you'll plug in your charger into that same spot. You'll see the indicator will let us know that it's going to start charging. Green means fully charged, red means that it's charging. If it starts flashing red, that means you'll have a bad battery and you'll have to get it replaced. This mower has the option of a side discharge and a hopper, so you can assemble this. This holds a good, a good amount of grass. I would have to empty it between three and four times depending on of course, the size of your yard would be different, but for mine, depending on how long I let the grass grow, if you do the collection, you don't want to do it all the time, but I do this from time to time. And as you can see, it goes together fairly easily. I'm just making these clips go around the frame. This should be fairly simple. We'll lift up this back panel, pull out this insert. The, <clears throat> the point of this is to let the grass fly out the chute. And if you were going to have it on side discharge with that flap, this would keep all the grass in the cutting area and let it shoot out the side. In this mode, the side chute panel is closed and we're going to connect the hopper now. And 
You'll see two little clips at the bottom. It'll rest right on those clips. You'll fill that hinge upwards, and then you'll let the top catch. That snaps it in place, and it's nice and sturdy. This will hold all of the grass that this bag can, can fill with and shouldn't be a problem for the mower. The self-propel actually is still able to keep up. It will outpace you unless you actually like to go for a jog while you <laughs> mow your yard. This is the height adjustment. It's very simple. I enjoy this part because you don't have to adjust every wheel. You just have to grab the handle and go up or down. This is a maximum. It says level six. I imagine that's about six inch cut. And what I cut on is between a four or a three. You have the ability to go between quiet and power. Quiet is 20 times less noise. Now power is through tall grass. So with quiet, I also would imagine that you would be able to get the farthest range if you have a larger yard, if you mow it on quiet, but you mow on a regular basis, it's not going to be tough on the mower and you'll cover more square footage. It suggests that it could do 13,000 square feet. My yard is the standard quarter acre. I don't know what the math is on the square footage, but this works just fine in a normal size yard like mine. You might have noticed earlier whenever I was putting this down, there's two breakdown points. You can use this adjustment that was for the height of where the mower handle will end up, or you can use it just to fold. If you just want to do this, it's much quicker. And this is the small footprint that we talked about. When you go in to use the mower, you'll just plug in your plastic key. It hangs off of the handle. That's step one. Step two is to push the key in, and step three is to pull the bar back. So you push in, pull back, and then you're ready to go. It'll start the motor, and this is the way that the pace setter picks up how quickly you want to walk. So by pushing down, it knows that you're ready to walk, but if you're pulling back, it will stop the motion and wait for you. Let's see how long the grass is. It's, uh, this looks about like seven, eight inches tall. Here's a little quick tip. You can just grab the handle. As long as you've got this squeezed and pushed forward, you're gonna get that movement. It's really handy if you just need to get around to a spot that you hadn't cut yet. The first, the first time around, the first cut, I went at a slower pace and just kind of took it so that way the grass would cut evenly. The second trip, I tried to force the mower and it stopped itself, but that was because I pushed it. And with the third pass, you could see the IntelliCut work where the mower knew it was struggling on the grass, so it slowed itself its own pace down <clears throat> in order for the in, the blades to actually catch up, cut that grass, and then it let itself move forward. It didn't do that abruptly, it just did it. It was a, a smooth transition between the, the speeds, so you can tell they, they put a lot of work into that. So with the, uh, with the intelligent cut, that'd be the far left. You can see here that it did a pretty good job, nice and smooth. But of course some, some were missed. That's also because I was pushing it, or I was letting it push itself at its quickest pace. You can see here, this uh, middle section that was the first time with the slow pace on power cut. 
And the far right section, you can see these two lanes. I did slow cut or quiet cut and not really pushing it, but going about a medium pace. It still good, did a good job, but you wouldn't want to cut your entire yard on quiet unless it already had a short cut. Uh, my settings right now are on level four and that's cut, coming down from, it's cutting this much grass on the passes. You can see that uh, there's a good height difference because it's grown quite a bit. Switching from power and quiet, that's as simple as turning the little lever. And here was those instructions on starting the engine. Just push down on the key and pull up on this bar. So the bag's getting full, I'm gonna take it off. Not exactly full, but you could tell that it was starting to get to the point where when I would have to turn it was a little heavier. It can I filled it up before I could still handle it. Now that I've emptied the bag, I'll show you just as simple as taking it off is just as simple as putting it on. Just rest it there. Very clever. 